Oh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the Keeping the Frank Podcast show. All right, guys, welcome back to the Keeping the Frank Podcast with me. You know who it is, the host of the most, Mr. Sir Keston Holiday Frank, the God Champion. Yeah, I'm here. It's me. And you know who I'm with. Oh, goodness. What was all that? <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. added all these extra you gotta, words. Gotta make it interesting. For you know? no reason. As best as possible. What, does that make it interesting? Were y'all interested in that introduction? You know you were interested. You're like, what's it gonna say next? I don't know, eggshells. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever. You know, it's Triggs, the one you like to look at on the weekends and every day of the week. I'm about to say, only on the weekends? I was like, damn. Okay. Only because we here on the weekends, gotcha. but, and every day of the week. Yeah, you know what I mean? We, 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 keep, we keep it moving. We stream it. I try. I try. You know me out here? I make you look good in the photos. I just want to let you know that. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was just handsome, but it's cool. I just, I'll take that too. I didn't yeah. say you was bad looking. I just said, I make you look good. I take that though. I take that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, again, you know, we be having these little lay these little layoffs. Why why we had this layoff? Why why, why I had a layoff last week? Oh, because my ass was in the streets <laughs> <laughs> of Miami. In I had to go to Miami. You was in these streets out yes, here? Yes, my friend, my twin, my sister became a doctor, okay? Mm. I had to be there to support. That's our degree. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you. I feel you. I, we've been there through the journey, so I had to be there for, you know. I saw you. I saw you on out here on, on yachts and all that shit. Look, I had out to, here. You, you see my post? I, I had to see, remind people. I saw you, man. I had you to remind good. people. You know what I mean? Because people mean? forgot that I'm a bad bitch out here. <laughs> Did they forget? I think people forgot. So I, I, I feel like I had to remind them. That's why I had to post some good pictures on there, you know? Okay. I feel like you're always posting something. I know. But sometimes I don't, I just, I don't have the mental capacity for it in mm. a sense. Like I'd be like, whatever. And then some days I'd be like, nah, I got to post some shit. I got to drop something. You, you drop mean? that shit? The dress I had on was fire though. Okay. So I'm just saying that was my first time wearing a dress like that, but it was cute. <laughs> I was cute. I was a baddie. Met a cutie out there too. You know what I mean? I heard you going on dates and shit. <laughs> I went on a date she in Miami. On... I was only there for a couple of days and so She's going on dates all over the world. But you know, that was, that's going to be <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be short lived. I feel like you know, like he lived there. Where you from? So you from Miami? You live in Miami. He lives in Miami. He moved there for work. Okay, okay. So you know, we had lunch. That's about it. Okay, okay. So I was like, that it was that was fun. I'm, I'm gonna go back to Miami. I like Miami. Miami was like, cool. I mean, the weather. Hello, because yeah. the weather right now in New York is so trash. Yeah, it's terrible shit. I man. wish the sun came back with me, like the 80, 90 degree weather. Yeah, I mean, just the light skin came back, but you know, the sun could have came back. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, this is a special weekend. Aww. What is this weekend about? Well, that's why I was asking you. Oh. For you to answer. This is a special weekend. What is this weekend about? It's <laughs> Mother's Day. Aww. For the mamas. Shout out to all the mothers. Mama. 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 <laughs> jump, you know. I love you. You know I love you. Oh. Ooh. You know I, I love, love you. They gonna turn me, they gonna turn this shit off at that point. They're gonna be like, and and don't wanna hear Don't you know no stuff. good? <laughs> they gonna my, be like, I ain't listen to this. I to get my Jeremy room on. And my voice saying? is all scratchy because I was like yelling yesterday. Is I that feel, what happened? I feel like I was outside yesterday also, so my you, voice is a little You stay in these streets out here. Not only on the weekends. <laughs> only on the weekends. During the week I be in my house. I don't talk to nobody. Monday um, through Friday, I'd be in the house. Yeah? Yeah, and then i come but out. But I just it was Friday. I'd be in the house until Friday night. Until Friday night, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I'm about to say, like, wait a minute. That was, yesterday was Friday. It was just- I know, I was outside. Anyway, this weekend is for the mothers. Yeah, man. You know, hopefully your mother is your favorite person, I would hope. Some people yeah. don't have good relationships with their mothers, you know, I understand. But my mother is like my best friend, so. Oh. Yeah. This, yeah. is, this is for you, mom. Yeah, me my mom is me my mom is cool. Are you doing anything for her this weekend? I don't know yet. Uh, I figured that out. Well, as, you as ain't got much on. time. Yeah, it's listen. like yeah, I'm like I'm like Jordan in the fourth quarter. You know and I'm saying you put me in the clutch. You know what I'm saying I'm good. You literally have like a minute on the court left yeah, for yeah, you yeah, to figure it out. Like, I, I I come through last minute shop, share it out. You know we do it up. 
I, are you doing anything for your children's mothers or are your children kind of doing anything for their mothers? I might get them something. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. You're, you know, you're yeah. that kind of guy. You're that nice like that. Guy. Yeah, I'm nice like that. Okay. You know? I think I'm taking my mom. I appreciate everybody. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You should. My mama, my kids' mamas. Mm-hmm. Baby's they, mama's mamas. Baby's mama's mamas. <laughs> baby mama's mamas. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, Miss Jackson. They did not listen to this podcast to hear music, hear either of us sing, okay? This is not a singing Yo, podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a singing podcast. I'm taking my mom to get a massage. Okay. Because I also need one. So we're going to do a couple's massage. I feel it's kind of selfish in a sense. That's, that's... No, she needs a massage too, but yeah. I also would like one. So why can't we just get them together? She's still getting them. I'm getting it. Okay. You know? And then probably to eat. My mom's real easy. It's yeah. real simple. My mom's too. She just want a card. A card? Yeah. No money in it? Huh? No, she doesn't want any money no, in she, it? she always want money. Oh, my mom, okay. My mom likes... She knows how to get money out of me. Out of you? Yeah. I was I was owe her. Oh. All the time. Oh, no. It's not turning around. I owe her something. No, my mom's... I like... The funny thing with holidays, I guess, except for, like, my mom's birthday. Like, my mom doesn't care if we're, like, not together. Because I always leave for Christmas and my birthday anyway. Yeah. And then, like... I was in Barbados last time. I was in Belize. Belize? Yeah. When was in Barbados? I went to Barbados for Thanksgiving, which is also another holiday. <laughs> but she didn't care. Um... But yeah, but I think, but thinking about that with like parenting and holidays, like, cause there's some people that are really serious about like spending family time during a holiday. Yeah. But I also feel like because it's always been just my mom and I, like we're together all the time anyway, a holiday doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Like I see yes every day. Anyway, I talk to her every day. Yeah. So I spoke to you on Christmas. Okay. I like, like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we've always been big on holidays that we mm-hmm. always had like, you know, Thanksgivings, Christmas all this stuff, all this stuff together. Okay. When I was younger, I mean, I did stuff like, like you know, we had a little pop up tree because I never had a real tree. Never had a real tree. I had like the little fake little one that you fan out and put together and That's put crazy. on a little nightstand. I, I never had like a real real tree, but mm-hmm. I had like a real tree. a big tree. Like, but what do you mean a real real? Like, you know, so like, it was n- fake, but it was big. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, how niggas be going and get the tree from outside. Right, like, you ain't have that. That's too messy. Right, but so I mean, it was fake, but it was big. Yeah, we could use, we could reuse that shit. Every yeah, year. mine was reusable, but it was just tabletop. <laughs> We put it on the little, like the little end table, and then I decorated it. And I used to put, the, I used to have the little we Jesus have in the manger. We have put that gift set under the table, <laughs> <laughs> which is technically under the tree. So don't laugh at my upbringing. <laughs> don't laugh at that. Oh, man. So, but like we used Thanksgiving, like especially when my grandmother was alive, like people used to come to the house. We used to do stuff like that. But I also then didn't eat a lot of Thanksgiving type of food. Okay. So it just, I think just as I got older, it's just been like, all right, you want this? I right, I brought this for you. I brought that for you. I right, I'm flying out. Peace yeah. out. Like <laughs> we don't care. That's dope, though. I mean, so, so when that time comes for you to have your mm-hmm. showing or your rent, rents, whatever, right? Right? Are you gonna? Implement the same thing, or you're gonna do something. Gonna do something different. Are you gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like I feel like not honestly. Like when I have my son, like I feel like now the holidays was kind of important because at a certain point in time, I kind of grew out of the holidays. Well, but yeah, because they're kids. Yeah, so the mm-hmm. kids needs to, you know, need to need to need to um, you know, feel that. Right. You know. I mean that. So I mean, I think when it comes to parenting, it's either you kind of repeat what you've experienced or you do something different. Yeah. Right. Um. I I honestly appreciated the way my mother raised me. Like, so she tried to do something different than how she was raised. Yeah. Not even just with the holiday aspect, just with like communication and like, because in her era, it was like, you're supposed to be seen and not heard, mm. you know? So she didn't want me to feel that way. So she allowed me to have an opinion. I wasn't disrespectful, but she allowed me to still voice my opinion. Like, I don't like that. Or I do like that. Or for us to communicate where she didn't have that type of relationship. But I would like to maintain that. Mm. I would definitely like to have open communication. Sure. I said, if I said I didn't like that, I'm getting a slap in the head. You were like, what? Oh, no, but even with like eating, right? Like, did you have to eat the food that your mother made? And like, if you didn't like it, oh, well, like you had to eat it. Oh, no. I mean, I had certain foods I didn't like to eat. So she just didn't put it in my plate. Oh, but you know how some parents do that? They'd be like, this is the meal I made. And if you don't eat it, then you don't eat nothing. That's true. (laughs) So I didn't, I didn't experience that. Like if I didn't like something, my mother didn't force me to eat it. Like that was just. 
I was mm, just it. Mm. And I, getting an insight of trailing. Well, I mean, that's gonna, the point of this, right? You know who trailing really is. Y'all, you learned a lot of, everybody has learned a lot about yeah. me so far. I mean, that's, and, a that's the beauty of this platform. I right? mean, I guess. Or yeah. I'm just telling too much of my goddamn business. Nah, just keep talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but those things I would like to keep. I yeah. would like to make sure that, especially because I'm a very open and free-spirited person. Yeah. I would love that when, when I do have children that they can also be open and free spirit and non-judgmental and feel comfortable enough to talk to me about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I feel like the first person you should hopefully speak to are your parents and you should feel comfortable to speak to them and not be afraid and feel like you're going to be judged, you know, for so many things. So that I would like to maintain. Um, holiday wise, I mean, I guess whoever my partner, my husband is, mm. We would have to balance that out, like, yeah. and when they're young, yeah, huh? But as they get older, like, I don't give a shit. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to, y'all know, can go. I'm leaving. I'm going. Y'all can go and do what y'all want to do. Like, I'm, I'm not pressed. Like, even my friends that are my age will be like pressed to still be at home for Christmas or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But again, I also feel like I, it's I'm a, so it's close a to my yeah, mother. It's a particular thing is a particular, you know, thing that you kind of look forward to holidays and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah man. How do you communicate with your children? Do you communicate with your kids the same way that you were communicated with or? I mean, you know, I feel like we always strive to be better. Okay. So I feel like whatever you think wasn't, you know, wasn't the best thing growing up. I feel like you're always going to try to go away from that. Mm-hmm. But also keep certain things that you feel structurally, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, help you grow, grow on a certain level. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I let my son be able to express himself a certain way. But I also got to put that, you know what I'm saying, keep that. Leash the on fear him. of God. Yeah, because like, he asked me, he's like, yo, dad, don't you, mean, don't you want me to speak my mind? And mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I want you to be able to speak your mind and, you know, be your own person. But, you know I mean? My job as a parent is to, is to be able to navigate you in this world. So if I leave you, if I put you out there too early mm-hmm. and you're just like me, you're going to say whatever's on your mind. And sometimes it's not the best thing to say whatever's on your mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To everybody. So you have to learn. You have to basically earn that, you know what I mean? Earn that, those, those abilities to go out there and just like be able to speak on your own behalf or whatever the case is because you know you do that too soon you know what I'm saying especially now just being like a black boy in the streets whatever mm-hmm. the case is with being out here you know cops try to stop you I mean he's he's 12 now so mm-hmm. he's no longer that that cute kid walking the street mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I told him before you're not, a, you're not that cute kid no more you're that handsome black boy you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying that handsome black boy is gonna get shot out here. So just be mindful who you how you speak in this and that when you put yourself how, out there. How has that kind of conversation been? Like I know I I won't I don't know anything about that as of yet, right? Mm-hmm. Cause like experiencing this like as an adult, especially in today's time, right? Mm-hmm. So like I can only imagine how it might feel as a parent to then have that type of conversation yeah. of like you know, <clears throat> witnessing what's been going on and then to then sit down and have the conversation with your child about like, because you're black, mm-hmm. you know, how you should maneuver in the world, especially a boy. Cause yeah. I was, I was going to talk about like the difference in raising boys and girls. Cause we kind of touched on that yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, since you brought up about him being like a black, not the cute little black boy anymore. Like he's older, he's taller. Yeah. Like how did that conversation I mean, go? He's, or, out, he's out here feeling himself. He's trying to, you know what I mean? He's trying to holler at grown ass women. You feel I eat me. <laughs> he need to sit his little ass down. <laughs> no, I feel like, you know, as, you know, growing up, I didn't get certain conversations mm-hmm. growing up. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn either the hard way or learn through certain teachers that was, you know what I mean? Like, I was, I felt like I grew up in a time where we had these black teachers that really cared. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You had, um, you know, I had, you know, teachers that would, you know, Mr. Jackson going to going to me and Man, going to the me and Man's march and come back and sharing these stories or you know what I'm saying these these different different black teachers that was really like, you know, Mr. Ramsey and whatever the case is, Mr. Johnson. So these You naming they, these people like I know them. I'm just saying like these is these are all teachers that really cared about, <laughs> I you get know, you, I get you. right? So now understand like you don't think there's black teachers that I care th- now? I don't think there's a lot of teachers that care no more. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays, mm. like even like think about it. Teachers is quicker to call the cops on you in in, in school, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then able to talk to you and be able to like, be able to like put you on the put you on a you know what I'm saying put, put you on the choke on himself. So what I'm saying is, so now I feel like you know as you grow up, you know every example I can show every time mm-hmm. we can sit and talk and have a conversation, you know what I mean? and like 
we have this thing like every birthday and every year we have a man. No, every birthday and every time you go to a new grade, mm-hmm. we sit down and have a man to boy conversation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I didn't grow up having. So okay. I feel like that's important to have with him because every time he get to see so he get to see his changes. He get to mm-hmm. he get to witness those changes. Like the girls are gonna change. We had the last time we had to come, we like, yo, the girls gonna change. Yes. Now we went to junior high school, I said the girls gonna change, the body's gonna change, your little man gonna start, you know what I'm saying? Feeling <laughs> he and he tingling, you know, and then, they gonna then, start tingling. And, and this is him, he's like, <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm saying, just laughing, right? But <laughs> No, you gotta have that conversation with him. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you gotta have that conversation with him because it's important to have that conversation with him. You know. But yeah, you got it's important to have that conversation with him. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think, but that's 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 how like things are different now. Because now, like, you know, we always had those things happening, but now they're killing us a little little more now. You know I what mean, saying? yeah, like I definitely know that it's like um it's a lot harder in today's like world, like to raise children, which mm-hmm. is why a lot of people are afraid to do so. Um, especially like um black men. But even like you brought up like, you know, as bodies change and mm-hmm. all that stuff, like, have you had like the sex conversation or like where did you have the sex conversation growing up? Mm-hmm. And then had have you had one with with him or with either one of your kids? Oh, uh, well, my daughter's a baby, so that's not <laughs> <laughs> I mean true, true. I feel like my mom just threw a bag of condoms my direction wow. and told me go, you know what I mean? And, and then I guess the condom was going too fast. And then <laughs> wow. So you didn't have like the sit down yeah, like, of like the birds and the yeah, bees. Yeah, yeah. You're, just, you're just like, you fucking? And I was like, I don't know, might be doing a little sign out here in the but streets. But so have you had like a better conversation no then with your son? I feel like every time my son had a question, we had a, you know what I'm saying? I think the first time he had a he question... <clears throat> she's probably like look at me the line like six seven his mom called me she was like Jen got a question to ask you <laughs> yeah I said Jen what's going on he told me told me the question he told me what happened here to um his friend Ethan my little nigga Ethan you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying everybody in front like Ethan by okay. the way so Ethan was talking about he was smashing you know what I mean whatever the case is at six yeah you know, he was yeah, he was Jesus. right so he was in there. <laughs> so I said, Jay, you didn't lie, man. You didn't lie, yes, You know what I'm saying? And then we had a conversation. We had a little conversation then. And then as time progresses, I feel like every year, I'm trying to try to re- 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 reinstill certain conversations that mm-hmm. we had. You know what I'm saying? So as going like I said, as going to junior high school, now it's a little different because I feel like first my guy in trouble. Was in junior high school when it when it came to some little sexual activity. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, I got, I got, I got kicked up. Anyway, yeah. but um, wow, <clears throat> learning learn a lot more about Keston right? too. So, huh? you know, it's, I know junior high school is a wild time. You know what I'm saying? The back of the modules, a lot of shit was going on in junior high school and shit. You know I don't what I'm saying? know if I was people there. don't realize oh, how gosh. crazy like sexually intense junior high school is. Well, I mean, for women, that's usually the age when they're probably in their period. Honestly, um, they was freaking out in junior high school. Huh? They was freaking out in junior high school. What girls? Said we all, everybody, we all was. Oh, I mean, but that because that's that yeah, age I'm about where to say like you know that because that's what that's like sixth <laughs> to eighth grade. Yeah. So that's for me that was like twelve, thirteen to like what is that ten, ten to thirteen ish. Okay. For me, I think because I started high school when I was thirteen, so. Yeah, okay. like 12, 10 to 12, mm-hmm. like 9 to 12, whatever. So, like, yeah, that's usually the age where, like, all that real puberty stuff mm-hmm. starts happening. You yeah. start getting your period. You start yeah. getting breasts and, like, I guess men, you I don't know. know, you know, how y'all balls be yeah, ending yeah. up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Our little bush start coming in. We start wow. getting together. Wow. And we out here, you know what I'm saying? But we'll, so, my, so, I know it's different <laughs> being a man and then, like, talking to your son about sex. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Will you have the conversation with your daughter eventually about sex? Eventually, but it's gonna be different. Like, you no, know, I don't like. You gonna I, leave it to the mother for that? I mean, nah, nah. Like, we, we we can do it together. But I feel like you know what it is. I feel like people have this like false expectation when it comes down to raising a boy and raising a girl. Like, you gotta do it. You gotta gotta do it the same. It's like no, it's a boy. That's a girl. Well, because yeah, you know I mean, you got like you can you can have the same conversations. 
but you have to do it differently. It's, it's not going to be the same thing. It's just like just like how just like just like we're talking about black boys getting killed in the streets, black girls getting killed in the streets, whatever the case is. The conversation has to be different, and I think in general itself. You know what I mean, it has to be different because every child is different. Well, you know yes. what I'm saying? I, so you, the conversation would never mm-hmm. be the same, regardless if it's two boys, two girls, whatever case you the, the comfortability of talking, the comfortability of you talking to your boy, your son compared to your daughter might be different, or the way you explain something might be different, whatever. But I think with in general, altogether, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like you can never the, you'll never be the same. But what I think the issue girl. is when when people say about having the same conversations, at least when it comes to sex. Is that a lot of times people educate their boys as go out and fuck around. Here's condoms. Just wear them. No, I still got I still got stuff in here. Don't mm-hmm. don't be trying to OD on me now. Um, you know what I mean? Like they'll be like, here's but so wait, they'll be like, you know, here's condoms, you know, fuck bitches, you know, <laughs> don't get nobody pregnant, but fuck bitches, mm-hmm. like whatever. Whereas for girls, it'd be like, don't do anything mm-hmm. like or see, you know like it's it's people see but this, this is my thing i feel like and i hear what you're saying but i still think that's flawed because i don't think that's what the conversation really is right i feel like even as a parent and me being around knowing other parents whatever the case is we like i never told my son go out there and fuck bitches but you, know you said saying? you was gonna give him condoms but you said you wasn't I mean, gonna give I mean, your daughter condoms we was joking around and i mean but eventually one day you know what i'm saying but I'm, so say, gonna, it's gonna be a different type but it's still gonna be a different type of conversation a different type of way you go about it you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not saying so yes for each because i also wanted to talk about like the differences like so i i believe in like astrology right like yeah, I, I like that yeah. so and i think a lot of people don't realize that even with kids and when they're born mm-hmm. their signs also can affect how you raise them like how mm-hmm. you teach them certain things yeah. and like their personalities because kids have personalities from a very very young age Aries. right I'm so I'm sad, so be i read of, something one day i read something one day that was talking about when you have kids that fit into certain signs how you should talk to them how you should teach them and educate <clears> them so that it they yeah. actually receive it well versus mm-hmm. just you being who you are trying to educate them the same way but we receive and give yeah. information differently but regardless, I do agree that, yes, conversations need to be different per person. But I think generally when it comes to when you have boys versus when you have girls, a lot of the times people make the same, at least how they project it, that, oh, no, the girl is locked down. The girl can't do shit. The mm-hmm. girl can't date nobody. The girl can't do nothing. But when it comes to the boys, it'd be like, oh, yeah, that he a player. He and that, that yeah, he'll go girls, get it. The, so it's like. But the girls are the prize. You yeah, you got you to gotta make sure you got to make sure that they understand things on a different level but, than compared to how the boy understand things. Yes, but I also feel like, and I've, I've read this places too where it's like, and this might go a little deep, but whatever. When they talked about even like rape culture, mm-hmm. right? Where it's like you, you teach women to not have sex or how to say no, whatever. But a majority of the time, not everybody, where they're not educating the boys the same way. That's facts. Like, yeah. don't like... You don't have to have sex with everybody walking, yeah. like, or if somebody does say no, it is okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can go about your business. So that's but what you're I mean. Saying, you're saying that they're not being taught that. There, some sometimes people, I don't think boys are, because uh, boys be it. so quick to just want to tap that, and you know, and not saying that you shouldn't teach women how to value I'm their saying, bodies. Are, I feel like we are being, we are, we are, like we. Maybe like, you should I, teach boys how have, to value we, their we, bodies. We have been taught to like, okay, well, but if someone's saying no, okay, there's a no, lot of community no, peeing out is. here. You get what I'm what saying? saying? There's no, there's a lot of community dick out here. Mm-hmm. So you need to educate these young boys to not be out here swinging dick for the whole community. Okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> really, really, you want, you want to have, you want to get the the value. You know what I'm saying? The valuable. You know what I'm saying? I just think in general, like how Putin, how men, I mean? how boys are raised <laughs> and women are raised are, are, I get that it's different. It gotta be different. But I do think that certain things should be the same. I, like, I, mean, I feel you, but I don't think it can actually be the same. I feel, I feel like no matter what happened, it can't really be the same. I feel like there's going to be differences regardless of whatever. And I feel like it comes down to the individual. Like we talk about signs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, there's a sun sign, there's a moon sign. So we could, everybody's, yes. so everybody still have a certain type of, even though we may have something that's, you know, that's similar, we may have like a personality or whatever the case is, there's still going to be some difference to it. And then also when you raise somebody, there's a thing called nurture versus nature, where, yes. you know what I'm saying, nature, yes. nature may kind of, you know, have you grow up a certain type of way. And the way that you're nurtured, you might be grow up a certain type of way. So some people might be a little more sensitive than others. You know what I'm saying? 
And if you're a little more sensitive, you gotta you gotta be cautious. You gotta be you gotta take caution how you you know what I mean how you explain certain things to that you know what I'm saying sensitive boy or girl. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, I think regardless of that, I don't think it could be the same. But see, so my argument is different than what you're saying. I agree that each individual person, <laughs> sensitive, not sensitive, some people need to be some people need to be told you ain't shit for them to get their shit together. Facts. And some people need to say, hey, maybe you tried this approach for them to get their what shit together. Anyway, I I agree with that. Everybody is different, yeah. right? But in the in the conversation of sex specifically, I feel like like my mother going back to like how I was raised. Like mm-hmm. my mother didn't sit there and say, "Don't have sex with nobody," mm-hmm. right? She said, "If you are going to have sex, this is what you need to know. Yeah, you need to wear have you know use condoms." She told me, "Think everybody has HIV." So That's that crazy. you don't, she said, assume everybody <laughs> got it so that you don't, you're not out here having unprotected sex with people mm-hmm. and then you contract something. And then she was like, you know, you don't want to get pregnant. Like, so it wasn't the don't have sex. Yeah. It was, I would like you to wait. Yeah. But if you don't, we're going to have this conversation. Whereas like there's friends of mine where their parents would be like, you can't have sex. Don't have sex till you're married. Don't do nothing. It won't even educate them on everything else like i was like the health expert in high school mm. so my friends who were raised very strict if they came to me and asked me questions my like it was a open communication like i could talk about sex even though i wasn't having sex mm. like i understood like so many different things different types of contraceptives how like all this stuff that my friends did not get from their parents because they were like you're a female don't have sex wait yeah. till marriage that's it but the boys was out here running rampant i mean listen and- that's what i mean with the conversation should be similar mm. like if you're gonna give a boy a bag of condoms and be like use this don't get no girl pregnant you should also say to a girl look if you're gonna have sex don't get pregnant and here's condoms like i think that needs to be I mean, similar i, I don't know i, I for each their own, I still I feel a little different. I mean, I feel like you need to have the conversation. I think the conversation needs to be had. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But I also think also, because we're sitting here as two individuals that was, in a sense, raised, the, you know I mean, like your mom is the person you spoke that spoke to you about whatever the case is. Me and my father didn't talk about sex and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, and my mom, you know, had a slight conversation. I doubt she wanted to talk to me about sex, mm-hmm. whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? So, in a sense, we're still going about things differently. I'm sure when you have a child, you'll be, you know what I mean, hopefully with the child father, and that's going to be a conversation that you guys can do together, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now, as a father now, I'm talking to my son on a different level because I didn't have that conversation with my father, so I don't okay. know how it goes. You okay. know what I'm saying? So in a sense, we all just wing and shit. <laughs> you know I mean, yeah. I think I, I think people forget that parents are humans as well. Yeah. Like your parents have issues the same like the same way anybody. They're not perfect people. And like you look up to them and think that they're perfect people, mm-hmm. but then as you get older, you realize that they they fucked up too. They and they're too. just yeah. they're just trying. And that's why I appreciate my mother for like, cause she had definitely a rougher childhood than I did. You know mm. what I mean? Like she grew up in Harlem. She grew up in the projects. Okay, like she was out here. She was out here. Oh. <laughs> Harlem shaking and shit. <laughs> um, but it was like so. She didn't want that for me. Of course. You know what I mean? So it's like I had a completely different upbringing in the sense than she did. So I appreciate her for wanting to do something different. Yeah. Cause she never was able to have those kind and, of conversations with my grandmother. And I think, I think, and I think, in, within that time period too, like we're talking about our parents. I think our parents, you know, most parents are a little more um, restrained about you know how they go about certain things, or even what they allow us to do. Like you know, what I'm saying like what they want us to do in life and all that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, and just knowing you, I know you're, you're like you're a little more free spirited. Your mom had you out, you acting this and that, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know like. A lot of parents is like they're scared about, you know, they're scared of the world, man. Like, you know, they want you to do yeah. the most safest thing possible. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 not us sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like so you feel me? I had an argument, and I won't even call it an argument. It was a uh discussion, whatever, mm-hmm. with my sister in law. Cause my so my brother has two kids. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> so one of them is about to go to college. Like they're 16 and 17. Okay. And you know, me, I quit my job. I travel the world. I'm, I'm yeah, out yeah. here being free. It's out here just, just light skin. Go right. Ahead. And my other, my brother has another <laughs> sister who she, she has like a regular job, but she also kind of like, she was into the arts a little bit. Like mm-hmm. she does like music, but like she does also still have a regular job. So we were asking my nieces, like, what do you want to do? Mm. And they don't fully know. 
right? Of course. But my sister-in-law was like, I think you should go to school for this, this, and this, I can't right? Do that. And so I we had a back and forth because I was just like, why you can't just because it sounds like a safe job, yeah. just because like, yes, it can make them a good amount of money. That doesn't mean that they're going to be happy doing that in school. I was like, you have to let her figure it out. Yeah. And, you know, and I get it as a parent. One, you want your kids to get scholarships because you don't want to pay for everything. I get that. You want them to make better decisions. But I'm like, at a certain point, you also can't force them. Because even if you do force them to go in this route where they don't really want to, at some point, it's still going to be a waste of money. Exactly. Like, then they're going to do something still completely different. And I was even talking to her about the arts. And I was just like, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize how important the arts are in so many other fields. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so yeah, I originally went to school for math, but I graduated with a theater degree. But at the end of the day, theater helps me in everything else because niggas is out here afraid to public speak. You went for math? I, I got a math scholarship, oh, yeah. Like a math, like a math where you be out here? I mean, not anymore, but at least I don't have no student loans. <laughs> that's that's always the plus. Training, I don't have student loans out here. Training Einstein in the face as Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I was supposed to be a math teacher. <laughs> And you, but, know, you look like a math teacher with that glasses with my on. My glasses on. Hey. It's only because I had patience and you know I was good I mean? at math. That's really what it was. But you know, it's like you know who you'll be. You ever saw Martin with Miss Trinidad? Yeah, Miss Trinidad. They did the sexy teacher and shit. I don't remember. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. You, I don't remember. Just this person over here. Whatever. But just in that, it's like the arts are very helpful in so many other fields, which I feel like a lot of people don't realize. Mm -hmm. um, but we literally had a back and forth because she was like, I don't like my job, but like it, it pays good money. And I'm like, okay, but that's you. Mm -hmm. Like that's your decision. You can't push her into occupational therapy or speech mm -hmm. therapy or whatever. I was like, if she don't want to fucking do it. And that's a problem though. Like I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people get degrees that they don't even use or they don't care for or whatever Bruh, the case like is. Spending right? mad money on shit that you not you not my mother was forced to go to school for something she did not want to go to school for. Which so one which one's school for? Uh I think like fashion or some some shit like that. Is she a photographer? My mom's a photographer now, but she worked like my mom she worked at Canon when she like before okay. I was born. Like she's she's had like regular nine to five jobs, but she didn't want to continue to do that. But yeah. she never forced me to do anything. She let me kind of like figure out what I wanted to do. Yeah. Like she wanted me to make sure I went to school, make sure I got degrees, you know, mm -hmm. push me in that direction. But it wasn't like you have to go to school for this. It I think was like figure it the to, fuck out. I think it's important to give your kids options and opportunities. You know what I mean? So yeah. whatever you put them into, right? If like, you know, my son, he does YouTube. You know what I'm saying? He want to do YouTube. I said, let me know when you're serious. Mm-hmm. When he got serious, then he, he really started doing his YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, he's an entertainer. He's like myself. He likes to be in your face. He likes to joke. He likes to talk. Like, you feel know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, what else do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever he wants to do, put him in the, put him in those opportunities to get a chance to see if he actually like it, if you don't like it, whatever the case is. And the younger and the younger you do things, the the more you can kind of figure out where you want to be. What you enjoy, yeah. So I, what happened with a lot of people is they don't you know, they don't do these programs. They don't do the arts. They don't do this. They don't do that. Mm -hmm. So they don't know what it's like to, you know, like I did DJing <laughs> one point time in like um, St. John Recreation Center and we had a little DJing program. I learned how to scratch. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like you do have to put your kids in a bunch you know of different, like, bunch of different things yeah, so for them to figure it out. Like I did a bunch of different sports. Because, because it's not, it's not for you to tell your kids what you want them to do. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's for your kids to figure it out, and it's for you to support them or whatever they feel they want to do. You know what I'm saying? No, I. I but I'm agree. also Caribbean, so you know how that shit goes. Y'all like, a nigga, whole you, different type of vibe. Like, nigga, you better be <laughs> a doctor, <laughs> doctor, <laughs> lawyer. You know. No, what I'm I, saying? I went on a date with this dude last year who told me he was really interested in acting, but his parents are Caribbean, and that they told him no, he has to. And I think he even could have gotten a sports scholarship, and they still told him no, you have to go to school for like. Engineering, so he doctor, could, he could have lawyer. Been a millionaire right now. No, I mean, but he's still contracts. like an engineer, still so there. like he still has a good job. But he wanted to do like yeah. like acting or like sports or whatever. Sports money though. But it's I think look I I don't know if I want to have kids honestly at this mm -hmm. point. <laughs> like I do, but then it's like I don't. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you get to a point where it's like you know a lot of people is. Chasing success, like for me, I know I was, I know I was one, I was one of the kids. But I also want to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I always chase that success. 
And I had my son young, so it's like, you know, yeah. I was in college and you know what I'm saying? You know, pull out game was weak. It was just crazy. It was wow. crazy. I don't know if it I was mean, that. That's, that's it wasn't, it wasn't weak. I don't think I was pulling out. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff that was going clearly on. Clearly not. You have you know, two kids. I mean, this, but they're met, 10 years yet, apart, though. But still, clearly you didn't learn within them 10 years. I did, because I would have had yes. more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I would have had more between that, that period, but you know, I. You know, I don't know. Nobody sh- impregnate me unless I say so. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 well, that. <laughs> that is that. But yeah, you got yeah, you got to chase what you got to chase, and you know, I think we, I think we're I think our generation is more like, oh, we're gonna chase that bag. We're gonna you know be some try to be successful. Yeah, people are having. Possible. I only you have one saying? friend that has a kid, and my other friend right now is pregnant. Other than that, my other yeah. friend. Got I, I got friends right now who's having kids right now. Nah, like, 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 you know, like in we out in the streets, or whatever the case. Is, me and my you know friends in the streets. We in the streets, we just out here in these streets. We out here in these streets. What do you so? What do you think about like? I mean, Basile, you already have kids, but I guess for me, right, Mm -hmm. in my mind, there's certain things that I feel like I don't want to negotiate on when it comes to raising kids, right? Like what? Like, I don't want to feed my kids meat. Okay. But I feel like if whoever I'm with, we're going to have to discuss that. I've learned, though, that like the conversations you have to have with whoever you having kids with. Got to be. Oh, child. Yeah. Because think about it like, for me, I think it's a choice, right? You had a choice. Or you just wasn't fed, fed meat? No, my mom didn't give me meat. Mm, at all? No. Okay, so you just didn't like it. But you had meat before. I only had chicken. I never had anything I mean, else. Still meat. That's just but I'm, what I'm saying is that like <laughs> I've never had a hamburger. I've never had bacon. I've never had any of that. Man, yeah. So. Listen, I tell her, listen, like my son, he like he'll he'll eat some, he'll eat meat, but he like fish and things like that. If he chooses, he don't want to eat meat. That's on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I mean, when they're young, though, yeah. like. When they're younger, where clearly they don't really have a choice, you're they're feeding them because they're babies, yeah. right? I don't want to give my child meat. Well, that's that's for you and that guy to figure it out. What like, y'all want to do? <laughs> that's like if they choose when they get older that they want to eat it, fine. Like that's that's your choice now. You're I'd at like, a certain age. Don't but, deprive my baby. But growing from up, she want to eat or whatever he want to. But eat. they don't know what they want to eat at that age. Yeah, they eat. They uh huh. They open their mouth. They eat yeah. it. And they, I don't want them to give them meat. Like my ex boyfriend has had like a my daughter. Niece, like my niece don't like eating. She don't really like eating meat. But how old is she now? I was. You put me on the spot. Damn. Oh no, nah, she's. <laughs> but I mean, like, if she. Yeah. But I'm talking about like, like my ex. I was around with with his his daughter, right? And she probably was like one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they don't make a choice then in the sense no, of like what no. they really want to eat. But then you don't eat meat. <laughs> no, but it's like, but they, you don't eat meat, but you don't like eat. when you let babies like, uh, you Why know what you, I mean? You don't even do that at one though. But they did. Who did that? Them. <laughs> <laughs> they did. No. Well, you see, no, because you see people post stuff with babies eating bacon, their first taste of bacon. No, that's They'd crazy. be like one, two. Yes, they have okay. been. Okay, like going on two-ish. Whatever, whatever one, two-ish. Okay. So, no, I don't want to give my kids me. Okay, what? Well, I mean, hey. So did I just cut my dating pool down? Because no was... <laughs> All right. Be I aware just... that she don't want her kids eating meat. So don't force it on her to do that. One of my friends, she doesn't but, want to vaccinate. But you do, I, don't, I don't do all that shit with my dick. But so. I mean, like that. But, those are those but, are serious I'm saying questions. This, in a day, but it's still something that you have to compromise with your partner. On. I don't want to compromise on meat. Mm-hmm. I don't want to compromise I, on meat, I mean, especially so, if, if, so if you, as so, a woman, if you want to have me cooking. I ain't cooking so no was, meat. So just get someone who is a vegan or vegetarian. But like then you. I got nah, that lowers my pool. Okay, but then you can't. <laughs> but then you can't make those arguments like I don't want. I don't want to compromise. Ah, but then you want to go after a carnivore and shit. Like come on, that. I don't go after them. They <laughs> find me and I tell them I don't eat meat, and then they be like, oh, and I be like, and don't expect me to cook it for you either. Uh, well, you know, some guys don't care, but I'm just saying, like, you're gonna if you're gonna do that, just go for the guy. You know what I'm saying? So I need to go to like a vegan fest yeah, and just find yeah niggas who eating mushrooms and like oh it's it's chicken it tastes just like chicken guys I need y'all to understand you know that it's saying? healthy for you <laughs> like, it's better your body will be better I'm you know? just saying like you know we don't know that for sure but okay we do know that for sure we don't know that for sure we do meat yeah. does not do well I mean, in you your know, body we can, you know we can discuss that but you know we don't know that for sure <laughs> whatever <laughs> so so y'all hear it here all right no meat. For Trey Lance, baby. Yeah. Especially, like, 
I'm, I believe in the all natural route. Like yeah. I would like to have a natural birth, even though I'm secretly afraid of childbirth. Okay. Just a little bit. I feel like my, my vagina is like, it's going, yeah, child. Yeah. Gosh. It's going to be, it's going to be I'm like nervous. that. For I'm, a I'm nervous. Like it's going to just come right. I've seen some videos. I yeah. was like, Oh goodness. Yeah, I don't, that's and, too much. Wow. Anyway, so I don't, cause I don't want to take the drugs. <laughs> I don't want to take drugs for that. I would like to have a natural water birth. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully if I produce milk, I would like to breastfeed for us. Like everybody doesn't produce milk. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, they do. Everybody does it. My mother didn't. No, because you didn't, you didn't latch on to it. My mother did not produce milk. At all? No. (laughs) I was never breastfed. Sorry, mama. Yeah. Um, so, (laughs) but it's like, you know, that like healthy, like eating, like, you know, I don't know necessarily about the vaccine part yet. That that's going to have to be a real discussion. Yeah. Because like, if you don't vaccinate your kids, they can only go to certain schools. They can't go yeah. to general public schools. So like, that's another discussion. But I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's what, a, it's a lot to, to to take in. Really. It is. No. Just to end on another spicy note, like, what do you think now about like with kids and social media? Because I know a lot of, like, even YouTube now has, like, is this suitable for kids? Yeah, YouTube Or, like, kids. you know. Yeah. Um, but it's, like, with everything that's, that, I guess, now how the world is changing, mm-hmm. right? And I guess, in the sense, how more open the world is becoming, even though, in some sense, people are still not open. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about with kids and exposing kids to that? I mean, that's, that's just the time we live in, right? Like, mm-hmm. I try to be mindful of, you know... The screen time you get in and things like that. Like my son, you know, he didn't he he has a phone, but these times he would still leave his phone at home. Like we going out, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's, Jay, you taking your phone? Now nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but having a daughter now, so she's like this, swiping left and swiping right. She's out here getting her swipe. On. I feel like he has a pro and, and that's con. Like she, she swipes better than me, so it's just crazy. Because kids but, now are going to be better with technology than like our parents. You know what I mean? And everything is going to be very... I, I still think it's important to have a balance. Because I feel like, you know, it's important to put some books in front of them, have them reading. You know what I'm saying? And, and run them, outside. And run outside. And it's important, it's, it's important to give them a balance. Because what happened is, nowadays, these technologies, is like, it, these TVs and technologies is raising, their kid, is raising kids and everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that is true. It's important to have a balance between everything. You know what I'm saying? Take your kid out to the park. Let them stretch your legs and then run around. You know what I mean? It's time to read something. Read a book. Like, because even down to school, schools have their kids on like ABC Mouse. So they got to read through that mm-hmm. app and everything. Like, no, nigga, let's, let's start flipping some pages right, right here. Let's, right. Start, let's physically change pages and see how that shit feels. Tell me how that, how that feeling is. <laughs> <laughs> how that, how that Before feeling books is. become obsolete <laughs> you know and everything is on the iPad. So I, I think it's important to, to have a, a well balance of okay. everything. And I think that's how it's going to be because, you know, just because they don't, just because they know how to, you know, work social media, they ain't going to make them any smarter. They still got to start, they still got to learn shit. I mean, true. <laughs> like, you know, so I mean, yeah, it's important to make sure these kids have a well balanced in everything. Just growing up, everything grows. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yeah, man. I just want I want my kids okay, to be man. like You'll me. You'll be okay. No. Your kids ain't going to eat no meat. I'm stressed. Be I want them here. to be free spirit. They're going to be light skinned. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they might not be. I don't discriminate, okay? I date dark-skinned men as well. Okay, I don't discriminate. They'll be a dark-skinned tree eater, and you'll be straight. And then they'll be an open and loving person. Mm-hmm. I would like, I would like, I would hope my kids come out like me. Because I think I'm very just like open. I'm like the non-judgmental friend when it comes to like my friend groups. Like people always call so, me and tell me their so shit. Everybody say before they start having kids. There's then it's like I know, I believe that. Mm, <laughs> the whole, but why why whole would you not want different. your kid to be open and free spirited and non judgmental? No, like, I, I, I love my kids. I love my like my kids to be like, you know, free spirited and speak your mind. So then but what, like I said, at the end the of the day it still comes down to you. I mean, still put them in a chokehold, but like, no, you can't say no, anything. No, right I mean, now. I don't think you know that. Mean? But being oh, opinionated right doesn't now. mean you have to be disrespectful. But they don't know the difference. As I'm saying, you no, you teach. can. No, you yes, to, that's, that's I the, learned. The point of, I point knew of what it was to be disrespectful. I was still terrified of my mother. But you understand? Are, but but you I never were, got. Did you? See, did you get beat as a child? Hell yeah! So I never my got mom, beat as a child. My ex. I never got beat as a child. I never had one beat. Mad different reasons. I'm sure you were you know bad. What I'm you think I was bad? Probably. Okay, probably. I got shook Maybe. one time. You got shook? Yeah. She's just 
because she was very frustrated with me. <laughs> so I got shook. But mm. I was still afraid of my mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I still feel like I she still scared me. You mm. know what I mean? But like, she still allowed me to voice my opinion, but I wasn't disrespectful. Yeah. But yeah, man, um, I just think it's important to have all the kids to learn. And oh, I know what I forgot to girl, talk what, about. What, what you gonna talk about? I was about to. It's fine. I was about to mention about like single parent households, uh, but it's okay because yeah. I had a conversation with this bro yesterday. He he said every man that doesn't take care of their children is gay. Yeah, they don't take care of their children. Yeah, they're gay. Right, but then why do they have to be gay though? Because being gay is not a bad thing. I mean, I guess he's just using it like in the sense of like you know. Like, I understood what he bro- meant. I'm just what, saying. What bro, you was talking to? I, I forget. Like, I it's Ash. Like Ash is always. Calling people gay and pink when they stuff. Who's, like what that. does Ash look like? He has locks. Yeah. Then maybe it's him. Yeah, he has, he, a, he has an accent. Yes. That's that right. He's on he the was Ash. at BK9 <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, Ash is there. We were talking, We the I told him I'm Bayesian, and then he was like, oh, really? I'm talking to a Bayesian girl? I was like, but I've never been. Like, I don't know the culture. That's my yeah. father's side. And he was like, your father never took you. I was like, I don't talk to him. He's, he's, he's gay. gay. Yes. Well, yeah. I like went this whole thing. Big win. <laughs> and I was like, so then he went on Shout this Ash, whole man. thing about like, you know, and I, and I agreed with him about not taking care of your responsibilities. Like, if you decide to have a child, mm-hmm. like, at least regardless of how you feel about the mother. Regardless what it is, yeah. Right. Right. And you I was like, to. I understand. I was like, but I also at this point I don't give a shit. Yeah. Um, but he was like, no, but there's a part of you that's missing. Mm-hmm. And, and I was like, I I understand that. I said, yeah. but the part that I and this rule we can end on, I guess, the part that I appreciate my mother for, yeah. which I feel like sometimes women don't do if the father happens to disappear or for whatever reason, is that one, they either talk shit about the father, mm-hmm. right? Two, they either don't tell the child maybe the full truth, yeah. right? But then they also don't try to instill certain things in them so that their child is not missing. Like, you're going to miss in a sense. Miss, it's, yeah. Yes, but it's like my mother still made sure, like my godfather was around. Yeah. Like I had male figures. It's she important. still, she told me every day, like your father loves you. My father was on drugs at that time because that was during like the big. He's in Harlem, right? Yes. Harlem, yeah. A lot of people in Harlem was on drugs. You that was saying? during the, that crack just, epidemic, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So like she was just like, he loves Man. you. He just can't be here. You yeah. know what I mean? So I was never like angry at him. Yeah. And once I understood why, I was just like, I get it. I understand where I have daddy issues. You yeah. know what I mean? But I'm also still very like self-reflective. Mm. So I see what that is, but I'm also not angry. Yeah. Whereas like a lot of people are out here angry because they don't know the I mean, real yeah, because stories. Because you said like, your, your, your mom moved a certain type of way with you, which a lot of mothers don't do. Especially right. like you have a lot of women who is angry that they... The father's not around, despite whatever. And if you have boys that look like the father, the you just want to beat their ass. Exactly, I'm saying exactly. And that's unfortunate. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I think it's, it's important and shit. You know what I'm saying, but listen, you know, um, it sounds like your mom did a dope job with you. I think. I think. I'm you know awesome. what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I should have called her. Had her as a guest. <laughs> you want know, to call up right now? Like, hey, mom, what's up? I don't know. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see what mama. What's your mama doing? Let's, she's probably getting her nails done. Yeah. Let me see if she answers. I'm gonna call her on FaceTime. Oh, oh, she's calling me. Mother. Wait. Hey, hey, wait, mama. Wait, ma. You're gonna live a long time. Some people never heard that phrase because I literally was going to call you right at this moment. Because I want to ask you a question. I'm gonna FaceTime you real quick, okay? <laughs> Answer my FaceTime, mother. She better ignore you right now. No, she better not. I want I want to say hi to Keston. Hey mama. Hey, what's up? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think you did an awesome job raising me? Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> what what made you decide to like, you know, break the cycle and do something different? <laughs> <laughs> and have open oh, communication oh, with me. Man. I don't have a second, Ma, because we recorded you on the podcast right now. Oh. Okay. Um, what, what was the question? I said, what made you, when you decide to have a child and you just said, I'm going to raise my child this way? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know uh-uh. what, mother? Okay, wait. Get cash. <laughs> <laughs> Take some money out for me, too. Didn't last time you called your mother, you called your aunt. My aunt. Uh, I'm going to call my mom next. I'm going to call her. What you say? Okay, what? I said, when you decided to have a child 
and you decided to raise me the way you raised me. Like, what was your thought process? Well, I so I knew that I wasn't going to raise you the way I was raised. Somewhat. In other words, I wasn't feed you meat, and I wasn't going to hit you. I was going to talk with you, talk to you, opposed to feed you. And I let you have your own. I let you have an opinion. When I was growing up. And my era, we didn't have, you had to do what your parents said. You do as I say, not as I do. And I used to always, as a child, be like, well, I have an opinion. And I knew that I was going to, when I had children, I was going to allow my children to have a, their own opinion. I was going to guide you, but I was going to also let you know right from wrong. And then you made the decision if you chose to do wrong. But I wasn't going to beat you. And that's why when you were young, you had a you had an opinion at a very young age. And people used to be like, well, she's a child. But I said, but still, she has an opinion differently. And now I regret it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got so much mouth. Wow, I should have beat you. I should have beat you. No, I'm just joking. But no, oh. um, no, that's, I was, I was not, you know? No, that's what I said. So I appreciate I you. Things, I don't think beatings solve anything. I think it makes it worse. I can understand um, that. I can understand yeah. that. Did I answer your question? Yeah, I think so. How did you feel being a single mother? <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye, mother. Thank you for your comment. She you out here in the store she her, and stuff. She got her shop on. Let her shop, man. Bye bye. Oh, you leaving? You too. Huh? You can cut the excess part out. <laughs> <laughs> I said, how did you feel though being a single mother? That's my last question. What you all Don't cut out nothing. No, how do you feel about being a single mother? You have another question? How do you feel about being a single mother? Like, what was your thought process like with that? Well, I had no choice, you know. Wait, you got, hello? Yes. Well, I had no choice. Um, it didn't bother me because I knew when, when I got married and had you, I said, I was, when I decided to have children, I said, regardless if I'm with my husband or not, I would be able to take care of my child. I wasn't going to be depending on anyone because, as you see, it didn't last. And I raised you on my own. And I think you turned out pretty good. I think I turned out pretty good, too. Good job. You know, she, you, just, you just, you just. She's okay. You just, you're my mother. Somebody <laughs> got to somebody regulate sometimes, you know what I mean? But you were like that at five years old. I know. Six or seven, you were still like that. You all, you thought, I was like, I'm the mother. All right, well, I'll call you back. Uh, we about to wrap up. I'll call you back. Yeah. I'll call you back, mother. Later. Bye. <laughs> let's let's see what ratchet shit my mom was gonna say. My mother said, "I regret it because now you got too much mouth." <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Because I be telling her she be spending too much money sometimes. I be like, "Why are you coming back? Where you have a shopping problem?" I didn't really know what other questions that maybe would be good. I to have ask no questions. I'm just gonna be like, "Hey, mama." I don't even know what she called me for. Hey. 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 Welcome to the Keep It a Frank podcast show. You're on the air. Hey. All right. How you doing? I'm good, man. We're doing, a, we're doing a little Mother's Day episode. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Say hi to my co-host. Hi. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I have a question for you. What was it like <laughs> raising this crazy man? <laughs> oh my God, he was the best. He was the best. Listen, his head was as hard as Google. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kirsten, don't do this. Kirsten, don't do that. Kirsten, <laughs> leave it alone. Kirsten! He drove you crazy, didn't he? He drove you crazy. Oh, yes, he did. He did. He did. He did. He drove me so crazy that one time he fell out of the back door. Me and his father were sitting down there. He fell out of the back door. I left him right there. Oh. The, father said, the father said, I'm a beast. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you got you to gotta let them learn on their own, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I fell out the back you know, door. Because you, <laughs> you, you didn't listen. You do, right? I can, I can see that. I can see he didn't listen. He was just... He, a, he, but other than that, he was a good boy. He was a good boy. Oh, he's, still a, he's a good man. No, right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing what I he do. He all right. Man. He all right. 
good. He's good. Good, good. He's a good father. Hoping that one day he'll be a good husband. That is true. We need to find you a wife, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You, Did, have, you have a wife right inside there. You have a wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, right there. Right there. Well, well, all right. Did he have a lot of mouth when he was younger? <laughs> Did he have a lot of mouth? Did he talk a lot? Was he like, yep, yep, yep? It? Yeah, he talk a lot, man. Mm. But, he, but he know what he talk about, though. You know, what, what he used to talk about? Everything. Everything? Everything. You knew everything? I knew everything. <laughs> I don't know when he when he used to be with the boys and them on the street. I don't know that. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm. yeah, some, sometimes I hear he said things that it's like shocking to me. So nah. I, like, I didn't know that. I thought you was one of the good boys. No, uh, mm-hmm. you know everybody has their time when they act up a little bit. Everybody has their time. But he's he's all right so far. He came out all right. You did a good job. He's focused. You know. I know I did a good job. Be around me. He better be. He better be on the street or narrow. Right. <laughs> See. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, happy early Mother's Day. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, my dear. Thank well, you. thank you. You know. Make sure, make sure he bring me my Mother's Day gift because he's I very to- cheap. I told mother. him. No, cheap. I asked him no, what cheap. he was doing. Very cheap around his mother. <laughs> very very cheap. Cheap 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 cheap. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate you. Put it on the podcast. He's very cheap. <laughs> mother, mother, mother. That's crazy. Your mother. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> um, thank you for everything. And um, yeah, happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you so much. And I'm waiting on my mother's day gift tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Later. Co-host I, will let, co-host, I will let you know if I get it. Uh, yes, please do. I'll be asking him. <laughs> All right. All right, later. All right, yeah. Well, on that yeah. note. On the end. At least our parents, you know, say yeah. they did a good job. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Told you. I mean. Nuts. Yeah. I, that's why I cut my mother off quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is great. Um, a little parenting convo. Once again, happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day to all the mothers, all the mothers and the baby mamas and mamas, mamas, and and even the fathers that are single fathers, and you have to be the mother as well. Let's 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 support them too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, I mean, it's the same when it's Father's Day, but then they be like this Mother's Day part two. You know what I mean? For the mothers, I gotta be mothers and fathers. That's true, man. So you know, for fathers, the fathers, I gotta be mothers and fathers too. The fathers, we get no loves out here. I'm saying I'm, mothers, I'm they get all, to, mothers, I'm, mothers get all the, all the deals. All the, they got all the deals and everything. They and, got yeah. Father's Day deals. Well, this what? Some chicken, some chicken wings. You know what? <laughs> On that note, thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in to the Keeping the Frame podcast. Definitely follow Trigger Trey at Traylon Husbands. You know. All right, and definitely follow me at BK underscore Holla. Um, follow the IG on Keeping the Frank One Hundred. All right, and also like, follow, subscribe, leave a comment on a YouTube channel on a Third Eye Media Network YouTube do, channel do, page. Do, do, do. All right, and for those that don't want to, that that you know can't look at the the streaming on YouTube, definitely listen to us on iTunes, Spotify. Um, you know, oh, Anchor and all that the other other jazz, jazzy nisms, okay? Um, yeah, man. So and happy Mother's Day again and um we out this motherfucker. Peace. Peace.